Welcome back. This is your Feel Good Breakfast Show Express only on SABC3. It's a Friday. The weekend is here. But next up, you know, the salty and sweet duo of Expresso's resident culinary queen, Zola, on my right, and the passionate <laughs> chef, Clem, from Afternoon Express, on my left. Well, they are on the road for the Salati Baking Boot Camps, and this time around, they are looking for the best baker in Cape Town, Josie and Durban, who will compete for the chance to bake live on Expresso, and the Gauteng bakers eagerly traded their TV remotes for whisks to prove their mettle. With the rumble of electric mixes and the joyful clang of baking tins, baking warriors from the urban jungle of Josie took on the Salati Baking Boot Camp to create a sponge cake with creme fresh icing, salted caramel sauce and caramelized popcorn. So the most important part to remember about this cake and the most important detail about this cake is when you fold in the egg white. So make sure that you do it in two parts just so that you can maintain the air because you've worked so hard to build up that air and make the foam that you really don't want it to fall. Okay, off you go. Hey. The cake itself is a traditional sponge of flour, butter, sugar and eggs and the technique is crucial to a successful bake. How are we doing? Fine, thank you. <laughs> what do you think of the recipe? I think it looks quite interesting. Do you think, do you think you're going to be able to do it? Yes. Well, you're looking good so far. We were surprised with some smoke, a little bit of fire and the result was this. Despite the eventful start, all the bakers managed to produce delicious golden cakes before Clem and Zola shared their different methods for making caramel. So there's different methods to making a caramel. I, I choose the safer method, starting with a cold pan. So I add my sugar to a cold pan, and then I turn the heat up. The sugar then starts gradually heating with the pot. That way, everything heats up together. Once you add your cream and you have it all mixed in there, even though it looks really runny right now, you don't want to reuse it too much, because as it cools down, it's going to become thick. So don't boil it down. So his method uses just sugar in a cold pan. My method for caramel, it's a safer way, just because it's buffered with water. So far, it's going really well. We've had cakes grow on fire, caramel not caramelizing properly, so I think things are looking great for me. You know what, I would feel amazing, amazing to win the prize. Um, it would be an absolute dream come true. Above all, I just want to enjoy and, uh, and feast on this delicious cake. Then. <laughs> For my cake, I thought I'm going to make the cream fresh icing and then just um, do the salted caramel on top, okay, and put the popcorn on the sides. I wanted to do some sugar works, but I'm not really good with it, so I'm going to keep it simple and stick to what I know. I'm going to frost it around with the cream fresh, and um, I've done a little sugar works, I've done a basket. This is a bit botched because I used a bit of cream, um, so I'm going to redo that, create a basket. I'm still deciding whether to cage the popcorn in or house them in the basket. As the bakers followed the recipe guidelines on assembling the cake, everyone wondered who would be chosen as Joburg's best. So that's Johannesburg boot camp done. What did you think? You know, amazing bakers today, amazing cakes as well, <laughs> but I'm just saying 50 levels of burn today. Very true but I'm so impressed. Mm. From that burn came some beautiful creation. The bakers were given creative license with a decoration using the caramel sauce and the popcorn, and even more unique than the cakes were the names they were given. I'm going to name it the oozing salted caramel rock. An erupting volcano cake. My cake is Miracle Baby. This cake is called, this is not banting, revival of the Fraser mess. I've always wanted to do a birthday cake for my daughter. And I think, judging from this, I'll get it right. Eh? I've named my cake Game of Thrones. Crunch Pop Caramel Cake. I've named my cake Caramel Rock Pool. My cake is named Sasalicious. It's my nickname because the cake represents me. The name of my cake is Chloe because I have a newborn named Chloe at home and she's just the most recent sweet thing in my life. Sticky Stormy Creations. This is the Rico Bolster Caramel Crunch Surprise. I named it Popcorn Tower Cake, and I've named it Zan's Love Nest. I can't wait to go home and dig into this, and I'm sure my family and my friends can't wait either. <laughs> Do you have a winner in mind? Could it be the thorn amongst the roses today? Could it be? It could be. Could it be someone that literally came back from the grave within a beautiful cake? It could be. Could be. I mean, we might be on the same track with that one then. I think we are. Winner decided.
Ah, oh, man, you two really are rock stars, uh-huh. eh? You really are. Like, was it fun? What it was, was the experience of Joburg like? It was like? such fun. Joburg was actually a really tough one because we had burnt cakes. So there's a bit of stress. <laughs> mm-hmm. okay. but, we, but we figured it out. They figured it out. And it was okay. all wonderful. I'm okay. sad that it's over. So sad. But there's Durban left. <laughs> okay, but now let's, let's just like... Um, like so much <laughs> of pressure on Durban right now. Yeah. So <laughs> listen. Okay. So we had Cape Town. Yes. And now, and now, and now we had jo- Johannesburg. So, yeah. so how did the two compare? Was it was it different? Was it same? Was it talent? You know, you know, every crowd is very, very different. Okay. And uniquely different, but it's still as much fun. I mean, some of the crowds are, are, are sort of quiet. Some of them are really raucous. Cape Town is always raucous. Always. The ladies in Cape Town are there to come and let their voices be heard and teach yeah. you something. All right. Well, you know what? You know what? It was a great experience. Hi, Oh, oh, what was that for? He just had to. He just had to. Do you want another one? Oh, my gosh. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, <laughs> listen, listen. It's time to announce the Joburg Baking Boot Camp winner, and it is none other than Hilary Aris. Hilary! Congratulations, Hilary. Are you there? <laughs> okay, uh, I think... Good, good morning. Morning. Good morning. Hi, good. Hilary. How are you doing Hi, this morning? How are you? <laughs> good, good. How are you? Oh, fantastic. Thank you for keeping me in suspense. I'm like sitting in front of the TV. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations, my man. You are Joburg's Baking Boot Camp winner. Oh, that's, and, that's yeah, fantastic dude. news. Thank you so much. That is great. And I'm hoping because now you're going to go up against uh, Tejal Kovergi from and, uh, and also our Durban winner is yet oh, to yes. be announced. But I mean, if you come out tops, you get possibly the chance to come and cook with us right here live on your oh. Fiogo Breakfast Show. How would that that's be? Like, it's like the best news ever. And oh, I'm yeah. finally <laughs> <laughs> oh man, but I hope you had a lot of fun and meeting these two especially. Oh fantastic, thank you so much guys, looking forward to it. Yeah, awesome. can't wait to see you again Hillary. he was I'm a great right, baker. Hillary. That's it, so, so Hilary R.E.C. is our <laughs> Joburg Baking Bootcamp winner, so like I said, Durban is Still yet coming. to be uh, mm-hmm. announced. Alright, guys. All the best for Durban. All Thank the best you. for Durban. Yeah. Off, yeah. Afternoon Express. So, yeah, definitely, guys. If you're looking for something delicious and tasty to make for this weekend, I suggest you tune into Afternoon Express today at 4 p.m. Uh-huh. We're making some crispy beef lettuce wraps. Ooh. Don't miss it. Don't miss it. Right, let's find out what is still ahead on your Fiogo Breakfast Show. Always good, always sweet, beautifully flavorful Salati sugars add the perfect touch to your day. Salati, inspired by nature.